So, um, really quickly, I know it's been a while since I've put anything up here. Honestly, you've just been busy with life, but y'all don't care about that. Um, today, I really wanted to go over the Watchers. And these are the Watchers from the Book of Enoch. Um, these are the entities such as Simyaza, Rakiel, Gadriel, Azazel, you know, big name entities in which some of you have probably already heard of. If you find this video and it's your first time working with the Watchers, then this is going to be more for you, this video in particular. If you're looking for specific Watchers to work with, my plan is to channel um, as many as I can and this is all um, and they're going to be listed down in the description below it's going to be like semyaza and it'll lead you give you a link to what I channeled on the site and it'll be the same for all the other ones that are up there so if you see this like as soon as I post this and there's nothing there well that just means I'm just putting the links on fair enough good um and I thought this would just be easier than making a whole another section on the site and plus if you just wanted to look up a specific watcher then it'll probably just lead you there anyway but anyway with that out of the way let me get into it and this is just gonna be very brief overview very basic stuff so the watchers are a group of entities that well they are entities that were specifically uh, noted to be ones that aided humanity in their gaining of knowledge and ascension. And through this, they taught things such as geomancy, how to use herbs for medicinal purposes, the use of poisons, um, how to forge metals, and then more arcane things like astrology, the movement of the stars, the properties of the sun and the moon, and, of course, sorcery and magic. And, of course, there are many uh, watchers that are attributed with various things. And, again, I'll go one by one, uh, like, with as many as are listed, and hopefully in the future some that aren't listed. Um... Mm. But yeah, these entities are very powerful, very helpful, and they are uh, amazing to work with. You will learn a lot no matter what stage of your practice you are in uh, from them. And I found that it helps if you have some, some sort of ritual piece that is dedicated to them. Because of their nature and how, what they are known to have taught humans, of course, I have my own set of circumstances where I have this capability, some of you may not, some of you might need to find other things, but I was able to go and forge a blade that I specifically dedicated to them, in which their energy are able to flow through and amplify any working I have with them. And this is, of course, a personal choice. It doesn't need to be done exactly as long as it is something that is made by your own hands, which general rule of thumb that goes for all magical implements that you use, it's better to do homemade than store-bought. Of course, store-bought is all you can do at the moment. I mean, it's not the end of the world. So... In regards to the nature of the Watchers, they are not angels. They have angelic attributes. Like when, So when most people think of angels, they'll think of like the muscular men with the long hair who with wings. And granted, first time I met Semyaza, which in all honesty, he came up to me unprompted um out of out of the blue i may add um but first time he came to me and i saw him 
he did take on that form to let me know that he was more or less not a threatening entity and that he was there just to make himself known so I could uh, properly call on him and do all the proper uh, evocations, rites, and all that to you know, get started with working with the Watchers, which that may happen in your path if it hasn't already. Um, but one thing that I know many of you who are working with entities that are recorded in the Judeo-Christian mythology is whether or not what the source material it got right about them. The Watchers are very adamant with helping you find the true nature of these entities, of, well, all entities in general. They could help teach you how to filter out what is simply fiction as opposed to how it really lies within the astral. For example, like this is just from their story. Um, in Book of Enoch, it is said that the Watchers were uh, slaves of the Christian ed the Christian deity and did all his bidding, and then they turned against him. That's how they fell, yada, yada, yada. In all actuality, the falling that they occurred was simply their dissension from the uh, trans veils onto the physical plane to uh, help humanity. And through working with them, and through, this was more in the beginning of my path, not really path working with them, but like more of my path in general when I was still learning what was true and what was not. They helped show me things that were not through word of mouth, but through more first-hand experiences, such as things like, you know, Lucifer isn't really, you know, out to, like, eat you at 3 a.m. in the morning. Or, like, the Beelzebub isn't, like, going to try and destroy you. Things like that. Things that have been, like, over-propagandized and, you know, you, you guys know what I mean. Or even things like the archangels serve Jehovah. Or like all angels are emissaries of Jehovah. Which, of course, is not true. And the Watchers helped show me that information and lead me to sources that showed various things. Um, And that's it for just a general thing. Like I said, I'm going to have a list of the Watchers. And of course, this is through channeling sessions, somewhat in-depth, I should say, uh, in which, you know, recorded what they could be worked with, their uh, different affiliations. And of course, it's not going to be... Everything that I have up is not the finished product there's still more to be done and that's just through because i'm a busy person as you guys could probably tell <laughs> um but yeah overall great group of entities and i obviously recently just started working with them again and probably gonna be a little bit more content about them going up in the near future Anyway, that's all for now. Have a good night.